Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. I just want to say we have an incredible uh, releases from Gemini Jets today. So let me get right into it. First here we have this Alliance Airways Embraer E190. This is super cool. It's also in the Air Force uh, Sentry livery, which is pretty cool. Um, I, I was kind of hoping they were going to release like in their Embraers or the regional jets. I was really kind of hoping for a uh, jet blue, but this is also cool to see. Moving down, this is something I'm definitely, without a doubt, no matter what, getting. This is the American Airlines Boeing 737 MAX 8. This is incredible. For them to release a regular American livery, I have been hoping for one of these, uh, almost a little bit more than JetBlue, because I would love another American regular livery. So um, this is incredible. Uh, so that's something I'm definitely getting. I don't know about you guys, but that is super exciting for me. Next down, we have a Boeing 737-800 in the American Airlines Astrojet livery. You can see it here. It's that silver one that says Astrojet on the side. I'm excited for this one, but not as much as the 737 uh, MAX 8. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I'm definitely looking more forward to the uh, MAX 8. Next down, we have a Eastern Lockhead L188 Electra. Um, I know for you retro collectors, this is an amazing model, but uh, for me personally, this is just kind of a bummed out one. This is nothing special. Uh, it's just an Eastern, you know, it's like a retro plane for me. It's just nothing special. Next down, we have a FedEx, uh, what looks like a Air, oh, it's a ATR-72. That's pretty cool. Because uh, you don't see a lot of like FedEx regional jets or FedEx like propeller planes and stuff like that So that might be cool to get um, So yeah, I might get that one, but it's definitely below the max 8 Next down something. I know a lot of you guys are gonna be really excited for we have the National Airlines 747 400F uh, in the flaps up and the flaps down configuration, which is really interesting because uh, I know that a lot of you guys get hyped for the Nationals, which is crazy, but uh, here you have, yeah, the National 747. And the next one down, you have a Northwest Airlines 757. Uh, that's pretty cool too. I am not gonna get that because it's a retro plane, but I know for you retro collectors, that is pretty cool. Uh, next on the list, I might be getting this one. It's definitely up there with the Max A. It's just not quite there. It's the Southwest in the Lone Star One livery. Uh, that's pretty cool. I might get it. Um, just you know, because I have a not a lot of Southwest planes right now, so I might be getting that. Uh, I was kind of hoping they were going to release the Freedom one, but I guess they wanted to get this one out there beforehand. I'm not sure why, but um, it would have been cool to see the Freedom one. And then the next one down from there is the TWA Seven One Seven. Uh, again, for you retro collectors, that's a probably that's probably a great model, but for me, it's just not worth the hype. So something else that they added that is unique is this one to four hundred scale diecast hanger. Um, I was always thinking about this, but then I went out of stock, and then all just different things about this hanger. So I actually might be getting it for my cargo area, but uh, yeah, now they also released a second hanger. So uh, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I'm gonna definitely be getting the uh, American 737 Max 8 and the Southwest in the um, Lone Star One livery. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.